Well, welcome to part 17, where we take on probably the first of the bosses. This really isn't going to be that fun, actually. No cigar. I am no more. I am king once again. You have done me a great service. Indeed, the birds of the air sing to me of how you have been of great service to many others. Please, take this ancient horn as a symbol of my full gratitude. It is a key to your final challenge. Oh, yay! A horn! <laughs> Jeez, this is worse than having a bridge named after you. These visits of yours, my child, grow tedious. When you attempted the spell to add the horn, you unwittingly released the plague, and you became a slave to its power. Yes, it is my master, as it will become your master when I defeat you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We get infinite continues. We can't possibly be defeated. Unless we give up. Oh yeah, I forgot. Now I gotta go visit the other unicorns. Woohoo! Not there's anything to really see around here. And why do unicorns live in towers and stuff anyway?
And where are all the other unicorns? What, do only five unicorns live here? Four, I'm sorry. Oh my. I never dreamed that my failing eyes would ever see the abomination the ancient scrolls spoke of. Long ago, the Unicorn Council used to consist of four most powerful members, whose horns were so magical that when they touched their horns in unison to the exalted portal, it opened unto a vortex of supreme magic. Days before the plague struck, the four council members were found slain, with their horns severed from their heads, and the exalted portal had disappeared. On the very day the plague began to ravage the lands, an exalted portal reappeared in a blast of black smoke. But the horns were never seen again until now. My good, venerable sovereign, do the ancient scrolls make any mention of a powerful sorcerer amongst our people at the time? Perhaps even more powerful than the council members themselves? Why, yes. The scrolls do make note of a dark unicorn, a rebellious sorcerer who often challenged the council. Nothing more is said of him once the plague began, nor any mention of what became of him. I know what became of him, for he has tormented me in visions. He exists in the vortex of supreme magic. He is responsible for the plague. I knew it! The trolls were right! The unicorns are responsible! Not all the unicorns. Only one rebellious sorcerer. Well, yes, you are right. But still, one unicorn is responsible. And one unicorn will set things right. I alone will face off against the Dark Unicorn in the Vortex. It is the only way to ensure that we are rid of the plague, once and for all. You are wise beyond your years. Come back once you have found all four horns. Well, this horn is a start. Now go forth and find the other three. Won't be hard. They're in the hands of all the bosses. Ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba. Well, I guess we can probably fit two boss fights in here. Probably. Maybe all of them. I don't know. Depends on how long this one takes.
you! You're unstuck! Come on! Why can't I hit this thing? Those little thunder things so hard to hit. Yeah. 
Yes, great powers. It's still a horn. Can they at least name a bridge after me or something? Well, I guess the secret to that battle is to quickly be pressing square and tr triangle. Well, I guess we gotta go visit the rest of the unicorns. All three of them. there only two more horns remain to be found yeah I guess this game assumes you'll attack each st area like the nymph marshes and whatnot all at once instead of doing what we did which is just go around so I guess I should break up the boss fights because it looks like it's gonna take me about an hour to get through all of them yeah oh well actually there's one more after these four but oh well first four boss fights, then you got the final boss fight. So there's five boss fights in this game total, and we've gotten through two of them. <laughs> 